You know, I was thinking about most of my close associates and friends are people I had fights with when I was growing up. We would fight it out probably almost every day. And then we would make up and become friends. We have mutual respect for each other. Hey, nieces and nephews, Uncle Jay here. So my purpose is to come before you and to encourage you. And I want us to walk in that dominion, in that power. Uncle Jay here, JUOnline.store, where you find the best in Christian motivation pill that empowers you and dares you to be different. I'd like to welcome you to Coffee with Uncle Jay. Thank you for coming in and having a cup of coffee with your Uncle Jay. I hope you put Jesus Christ first in your life today, that you're walking in the favor of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that you seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness all the things will be added unto you. And it also says, Jesus Christ, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. So I, put, I hope you're putting your trust in Jesus Christ and that you're looking unto him. But today, I want to talk about, I was online doing my rounds, going to Christian live streams and I joined in a debate and I'm trying to comment and respond to those who are in the chat. I noticed that I'm muted, but this is a common occurrence. I'm blocked and muted on most channels. And it kind of made me laugh because I'm like, why am I blocked? I don't say anything offensive. I don't use derogatory language or talk it, call the people out of their names or anything. But I'm blocked on most channels. But then I just come to the conclusion it's because I disagree with a lot of the norms or the crowd. I go against the crowd, sort of like a maverick. Why is it that when people disagree with others, we feel like we got to ultimately cancel them or they have to be annihilated or disassociated? You know, I was thinking about most of my close associates and friends are people I had fights with when I was growing up. We would fight it out probably almost every day. And then we would make up and become friends. We have mutual respect for each other. That's what I believe healthy dialogue, healthy discussion and debate. It can help you have a mutual respect for each other, but people like to go to the other end of the spectrum. If you're not in their clique, if you don't believe the same thing they believe, if you're not saying the same thing they're saying, you're a heretic. You need to be disassociated. You're not saved. The Bible says that if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, you are saved. John 3, 16 and 17. The Bible says, if you do not believe, you are condemned already. It doesn't say anything else. If you believe Jesus Christ has died for your sins and rose again, you are saved. Yeah, they block me. I don't know what. I guess some people don't want to hear the truth. And in today's environment, you can't disagree with nobody. You can't have an opinion. You can't have a difference of opinion. And what people don't know, like, you can both be right, in a sense. There is absolute right and wrong. But in some things, you could be both right. Because I guess you don't say it the way they say it, you're deemed like some heretic or you're deemed like some bad person. So these people, you can't be on a debate team, man, because you, you're gonna hate everybody. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta hate. You gotta hate so many people because they got they're gonna argue the other point or the or the opposite point. So I guess you gotta agree with everybody now. If I don't agree with, it, I don't agree with. It. I'm not gonna try to just fit in or get along to get along. That's a bad feeling when you don't agree with something or you don't believe something and you just agree just to get along or just to suffice someone else or pacify them, that's got to be the worst feeling because you're not being your genuine self. Now you're being somebody else and that will burn me up inside. Like Paul and, and Peter didn't agree on everything, but they came together 
and they found mutual ground. They agreed on what they could agree on. It. Paul, he rebuked Peter, everything, because Peter was prejudiced. But they came to some mutual understanding as to what was required of the Gentiles. You know, the Gentiles wasn't Jews. They, so Paul was saying, you can't make them be Jews because they're not Jews. And so they came to a mutual ground. And then Peter confirmed Paul. He said, some things Paul wrote are hard to the unlearned, but he called Paul a brother, an apostle. He didn't say, oh, Paul is a heretic. He used to kill Christians. We don't need to listen to him. He didn't say nothing like that. But people got to learn how to disagree. That's how great ideals and things come about by difference of opinion. And we come together and find our mutual ground. So it's just kind of funny how, because someone doesn't agree with us or thinks or says what we like, we think we need to block them. It reminds me when I was a kid, you know, I told you I grew up poor, grew up in the projects. So most of us, we didn't have much. So when we played basketball, most times we didn't have a ball to play with. But there was always this one kid. He didn't he didn't have a lot of brothers and sisters. Like, you know, I come from a family of six kids. He probably was the only kid. He got most of the things he wanted. So he always had the ball. We would go to pick teams. It come to me. I'm glad I'm on a team. Goes to the next one. And the next one. Finally get to the last one. It's him and maybe Charles. But this guy who owns the ball he doesn't play that well so they pick Charles the guy with the ball let's call him Jimmy Jimmy gets mad he said I'm taking my ball y'all not playing <laughs> so everybody gets mad because we know Jimmy can't play so now we got to find a way to put Jimmy on the team and that's the same thing with these people that you disagree with that try to block you and everything they it's like they're taking their ball and say you can't play with them but now, these days, we've got our own ball. We all got our own platforms. We all have our own voice. Jesus is the head. We're not the head. The Bible says that the head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. The whole body is not an ear. The Bible says, where would the smelling be? The body is not composed of one part. Even your body is not composed of one part. Even on your arm, you have different parts on the elbow. You have a hand, you have fingers. If you lose one of those things, it will cause dysfunction. It will cause you to alter how you move your movement, how you use that limb. So we all need each other. Let's cancel. Let's stop this cancel culture. Let's stop trying to cancel each other or thinking everyone has to agree with us. Just continue to pray for me. I may decrease that Jesus Christ may increase. That he'll be lifted up in my life that he'll draw all men unto him. Always remember, hey, always up. Wait a minute, wait. Did you hit that like button? My mother said when you go in people's house, you're supposed to say hello. Make sure you hit that like button. And go check out my podcast on all platforms. Coffee with Uncle J.E. Download my free ebook, The Path. And make sure you go check out that Christian Motivation Apparel at jeonline.store, jeonline.store. Use the code TAKE10 and you get 10% discount on anything you purchase there. Always remember, head always up. jeonline.store, where you find the best in Christian motivation apparel.